Hello everyone and welcome back to TBO. On today's episode, we're bringing back an old classic. Can we fight sky creatures? Which is a continuation of our previous episodes of can we fight animals? Can we fight sea creatures? Can we fight just anything? Can we fight Christmas? Stuff like that. It's been a very long time since we have recorded one of these. Yes. Uh, no fault in part, because I just wanted to save Sky Creatures for some other time. But yeah, so the parameters of this fight are we're going to have a list of 20 creatures, Sky Creatures, and uh, we're in the sky, just perpetually falling forever, and our weapon of choice is a fly swatter. Lovely. Lovely. Yes. That's so useful. Thank you. Well, yeah, I thought flying creatures, we have a fly swatter. <laughs> Fantastic. How, how effective can we be against a duck is our first one. I mean, ducks hurt. Yeah. And they have teeth. <sighs> okay, yeah. So imagine for this, right? We're free falling, but we've reached terminal velocity. Perpetually forever until we beat all of these 20 creatures. Yeah, but it, it's terminal, right? We're not accelerating. This is, like, this is like a video game. As each monster we beat, we get more and more closer to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at the end, we just squish and flat. I'm like, well, depending if we've killed enough creatures, we might be able to land into a nice soft pile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's our goal, is we've got to get as many creatures as we can dead with our fly swatter so that we have something soft to land on. Right. I think you can knock a duck out with a fly swatter. I reckon you can t- not hold the fly sw- hold the fly swatter bit and then just hit it like a mallet with the other end. Oh, hang on. I might actually change it. I think we've got a range of fly swatters. Oh, different I'm sizes. Gonna give us the, I'm, well, I'm going to give us the electric one as well. Okay, cool. The, the electric, electric zapper one. fly swatter one. And like a big novelty one. Fantastic. I think we can still beat a duck. Yeah. I just, mean, the duck's got nothing on us. What it's going to do is just hurt. It's not going to kill us. It's going to bite our ankles. Well, what's yeah. it going to do? We're not walking. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, but it'll probably just, just you know, get our eyes and our ears, but, you know. Yeah, I wonder, though. How fast can a duck fly? I think they can fly is... pretty fast, but if he's attacking us, he's going to be near... What the hell's happening? We're doing a podcast. That's what's happening. What the hell's happening? I know, something just went glitchy. Hey, how fast is a duck? Ducks fly... Uh, most waterfowl fly at a speed of 40 to 60 miles an hour. So oh, wow, that is that is a fast duck, so it might just dive bomb us. What, going into the jet engine? You seen how much they fuck up a plane? Well, luckily, we do <laughs> not have jet engines, but we do body. have buttholes. Yeah. I don't know, termite. Why are termite you it's going to go up our butthole? <laughs> That's, that is true, but I don't think it, a duck's head's going to fit. That wasn't up way. his butthole. <laughs> I'm telling you, a, d- a duck's head can definitely fit up your ass. Could go down your mouth. Could give you a nice little kiss. Apparently, the butthole can stretch seven inches. How do you know, Dan? Have you tried this? I know a raccoon can sm- fit into small gaps of the Yeah, I think a raccoon can fit your butt, right? So, yeah, surely a duck can also fit your butt. It compresses body and go up a butthole. Well, a duck has a corkscrew <laughs> penis. So this has turned oddly It'll go up there no matter sexual. what. So let's move on. I, I, I think the duck's dead, right? Well, this Did is why we've got to kill this duck with a fly swatter. Yeah... It, even if we're not, we just grab the duck. Cool, that's one neck. point Boom, to us. Dead, dropping on the floor. We're gonna I'm keeping it. track. We're going to land softly on that duck. A goose. Goose. <laughs> the large duck. These things are a bigger terrifying, duck. by the way. Geese are terrifying. <laughs> Do you know yes. a baby geese or baby goose yeah. is called a gosling? Ryan Gosling. So we're fighting Ryan Gosling, yeah? Yes, Ryan Gosling. Mm-hmm. What would you do to fight Ryan Gosling? Because I saw him in The Grey Man. And wow. he does a, quite an impressive fight. <laughs> so if that goose has the skills of Ryan Gosling, With a fly then swatter. how the fuck An are we going to beat this swatter. goose? <laughs> mm. I would. I reckon we could beat... If we got the big novelty one, I reckon yeah, we maybe. could it. The big novelty one? I think an electric one would be. I reckon that would, that would bash it. I'm just kicking over things. <laughs> yeah. Electrical one. I reckon that electrical one's going to keep us out of a big... But I reckon we get five uses of it before it breaks. Really? So we can use... Yeah, but it's the like, you're saying like it's a good weapon. It's not even that good. I'm going to say five... We can use it five... T- 
Yeah, but it's gonna it it's good enough to kill a goose. We could burn it. You don't know what creatures are coming you up. You can burn Dan. the goose. I do. With what? You're not gonna burn it. Yeah, you could burn the goose. A box up is pretty strong. Like the electric one. It's feathers with light. I mean maybe. I don't have you ever lit a feather? They burn quickly. If you get, yeah, if you zap it quick enough and get like, if, or hold it down so it catches fire, then you got a flaming goose on your hand. Like, can you imagine? I reckon we. We're gonna up. eat roast I think, goose I on the way down. Have a nice snack thinking, on the way yeah? down. We get some roast goose. Yeah. Fair enough. Another point to us. Okay. Next one is Robin and bats. Now the Robin you're saying is it? The, the bird. bird. Okay, cool. <laughs> and the bats that I'm saying is a bat. This so. is an awful joke, by the way. Like, I am not impressed. I thought you'd be I'm, impressed. It's nice I, that you are. I'm disappointed. My disappointment is immeasurable. But, but how are we taking down this Robin and Bats man? <laughs> My main man. <laughs> How are we taking it down? That is a good question. I think we should start off with the fire swatter. The big one, the mini one, or the electric one? Because we've only got. I think the one mini, I think the normal one would work. Yeah, I think one so. robin and a well, bunch of bats. Bat, I don't know actually. The bats do move fast. Yeah, and they're vampire bats. <laughs> We're getting Morbius into this bit. <laughs> no, that, that that should be another that should be another creature on the list. Morbius. <laughs> He's not a flying creature. Are you sure about that? on the wind. <laughs> yes. Actually, there are some of the creatures in here who are debatable whether or not they can fly. <laughs> <laughs> a pterodactyl better be on this list. No comment. That's good. That's good. Do we win this one? I would say it's more of a draw. Yeah, I'd, I'd say, yeah. A draw? I think they're going to be really hard to the kill. Bats. But I don't think they can kill us either. A lot of bats could probably bite and drain a lot of blood. Bro. Maybe they'll give you COVID. <laughs> That's how they get us. We die of COVID yeah. at the end of the fight. The bats are the w- ultimate winners. We lose because of COVID. So does that mean we now lose this? Because we can't get them because they move too fast. No, we've won. We've killed them, but they've given us COVID. So it takes us till the end of this and probably maybe a couple days after for us to die. So is this technically a draw? Technically, yes. But at the moment, it's a win until the podcast comes out. And then it's probably by that time we're dead. So do we take this as a victory? I'm taking it as a victory. All right, three points to us. Dan, a harpy, the mythical bird lady. Oh, I was thinking ones of destiny. No, the lady with bird wing arms and claw feet. I am going to have a have a look at this. You never heard of a harpy, Dan? Only the Destiny Two ones. <laughs> you not up to date with your creatures of Greek mythology and Roman mythology? No, how dare I not? So, okay, it's literally just a woman with bird wings. Wing. Yeah. Okay. They're also in Yu-Gi-Oh! as Harpy Ladies, which is a deck that you can get. Oh, are they attractive in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, they're animated cartoon characters, Dan. So, of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they're female cartoon characters, so obviously they're incredibly sexualized. <laughs> ah, yeah, that sounds all right. And it's a Japanese... Ca- I think it's Japanese. That's going to be really insensitive to me if it's not Japanese. Why is this Yu-Gi-Oh card like four hundred pounds? Because it's probably a super rare card, Dan, or someone's just trying to scam someone. No, nah, this Harpy Lady is not attractive in Yu-Gi-Oh. I never said it was. What do you mean? <laughs> That's I a shame. Joke. Okay, what? so is this Harpy the attractive one? What are you doing? Are you trying to fuck a bird in the sky? I'm just recording? saying, right? It's a long way down. <laughs> is this how you're gonna win? It's not, you're not fighting it with hatred, you're fighting it with love. Maybe, maybe. Are you going to stick that fly swatter somewhere it shouldn't be? Maybe I could join the Mile High Club, just saying. Fair enough, I'll let you take it. I'll stand back, I'll just, I'll just be floating next to you. Awkwardly <laughs> turned away. <laughs> I'll be fighting the bats of Robin, you'll be fucking fucking a bird, lady. I'm like, don't worry Danny, I'm here with you. And then, please don't. <laughs> I'll be there soon. Just, I need to do something quickly. You need to jack one off to a bird lady with wings. I mean, I found one attractive photo. The rest are not. Will you stop looking at a fuckable bird lady? <laughs> <laughs> and tell me how you're going to decapitate her head with a fly swatter. I think we might struggle here. What, because you're too turned on and you can't fight with a boner? <laughs> 
No, I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think because you're awkwardly you trying to hide it whilst in the sky. You know, it is a uh, bird. There's a mass. Work. There's a tiny overcasted shadow on the ground. Wait, what? There's a tiny overcasted shadow on the ground because you've seen the harpy lady. I'm so confused. Well, it, it's not a massive shadow, is it? No. I'm talking about your boner. Oh, 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 god! I was gonna say, surely it wouldn't be a shadow at all. That's what I mean. It's a tiny, tiny little shadow. I do, I do rock a good two inches, which is impressive because of how high up you are. It would have cast a massive shadow even if it was normal size. So it's got to be really small for it not to make any shadow. Like I said, I do, I do rock a good two inches. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you shared this with the podcast, Dad. Everyone wants now. To how are you not going to fuck this bird, and how are you going to kill it? How am I going to kill it? Okay, well, we have a fly swatter. Taze here. its tits, or are you going more kinky? I don't know what's the best way of doing this. Big fly swatter, bash it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think we're going to win this. What? Because you can't kill your love of your life. Yeah, it'd be it'd be so devastating to me, you know. I just I just won't be able to do it. No, I think it's more. The fact, just okay, I wings. pull out a Glock and shoot her in the head, we win. You haven't got a Glock. <laughs> I know, I don't, but... If we had a Glock, of course I think we'd win, but we've got a fly swatter against a woman who can fly in the air. Yeah, we just need to grab her and bash but her But that's going to be with... difficult to do. Well, if you try and lure her over with your... My dashing good looks. I was going to say, like, pity sex, but yeah, um appeal and then we just i'll sneak up behind her and crack her neck might work it might work depends a harpy i mean i don't know how you're going to sneak over when you're in you know free fall and you can't really move well i'll drop up higher and then i'll just dive bomb and then when you're trying to woo her with your dashingly good charm i'll just catapult her head off might work might work i think we need a coin yay or nay Heads you win, tails you fails. As always. Coin flip. I have a bias coin you, if you want to use it. I have a coin flip app. Heads you win. Oh, okay, it works. That's a point to us. Hell yeah, pelican. <laughs> nice. And what's next? A pelican. Oh, literally a pelican. Okay. I was wondering what? I was wondering where you charged that. I was like, do I have threats or something? Oh yeah, it's you. It's you in the sky. A pelican. You're fighting yourself. And it's got Nemo in its mouth. Wait, why am I a pelican? D- do I need to answer that question? Yes! <laughs> okay. We're not going to on this episode, but I'm sure there'll be an episode titled TBO, Why is Dan a Pelican? And then I'll just go into detail for about 45 minutes and explain why. I'm so confused. Why you am- won't even be on there. Why am I a pelican? <laughs> Shut up, pelican. Dan, how are you going to kill a pelican with a fucking fly swan? I- I need to Which one are you remember using? remember what a pelican looks like. It's the one with the big fucking mouth oh is it's that big what gobbly is? boy <laughs> big gobbly boy it's not a stork that's later yeah it's the one that's like scoops up fish right yeah it's the one in finding nemo which i think you haven't seen because your childhood was filled with no love i have seen finding nemo oh my god dan seen a childhood film yes i did i actually watched a lot of the um pixar ones have you watched Lightyear? <laughs> no not the new ones <laughs> Wow. I mean, I've not Damn, seen Toy Story either. Fair enough. <laughs> I have seen Wally. That's the one. There's Wally's good. Ones. I like Wally. But Dad, we're fighting a pelican. Aww. Stop trying to scroll Disney Plus whilst you're in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on my phone while you're watching, while you're fighting the pelicans. And so I have seen this, but I haven't seen that. I don't care. Whilst well, so I try and shove a fly swatter down its fucking gullet. <laughs> Which I think it just eats because it's just a pelican, so it's got a massive mouth. So we've now lost the uh, fly swatter because you've, well, you've lost one. Yeah. Love but it. I think it chokes to death because it can't digest that. So I think we've won because of that. We lost our main fly swatter. We got the electric one with, I think, three charges left and the big novelty one. Okay. Which I'm giving us five charges on. Okay. I'm also giving us five charges on that, which is interesting because we don't have enough uh, to finish this, <laughs> giving how many I've given, because the the fly swatter was meant to be the all-rounder one. <laughs> and you shoved it down Pelican's neck. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. Down a pterodactyl. A pterodactyl? Oh, dear. Or petrodactyl. 
No, it's a pterodactyl. If you want to be really shit at pronouncing a word. A pterodactyl. <laughs> yes, a pterodactyl, Dan. You wanted a pterodactyl? It was already on the list. I didn't just add it. I literally had it on there before. Good. I'm impressed. How are you going to kill a pterodactyl, Dan? Um, I don't really think we can. Why not? They don't exist. Well, so we find nothing. We find a fossil. <laughs> yeah, we find a brick. Nah, okay. Uh, yeah, their wingspan's big, by the way. Like, pterodactyls are huge. Yeah. I don't think you quite understand how big they are. I know. I googled all of these before. Yeah. Big ass. I reckon. It's like a big pelican. It's it's a bit bigger than that. It's a big pelican. Because it's got a big old gulpy mouth. And if we're going based on the one from Jurassic World, which is a movie I know you haven't seen, but there's a death sequence where a bunch of, I think, maybe pterodactyl-like bird creatures swarm and grab a woman and literally fling her about across the park and then throw her into a water tank with a big old gulpy boy and it is the most fucked death sequence in any film because this person was literally just a babysitter (laughs) for some kids and did nothing wrong (laughs) was just trying to look after some kids and they just fucked her in the most gruesome death sequence ever i mean have you seen final destination no maybe depends on which one and i don't remember because all i know is the one where the are mental (laughs) hmm uh, the one where his laser eye surgery went through the back of his skull. No, but I mean, this they, they, they probably deserved it because they cheated death. So there's a reason why those characters die. This is just a person who was a babysitter. And you haven't seen for like most of the film because the kids run away. And like, that's the only crime she does is the kids run away. And then they just fucking kill her in the most brute. Look up um Jurassic World um babysitter death. At, at some stage, not right now. But it's fucked. But yeah, you using the big fly swatter on it? I'll, I'll use it, but I don't think it's going to work. Are you going to f- do a bunch of flips to build up momentum and then smack it? I don't think you understand how the sky works. I do. If you spin around a bunch, you get more how? and more momentum. How are you going to spin out? How are you going to spin around? You use the fly swatter. Use gravity. That Nothing's going to happen. Then the air pressure... Comes back up, then use gravity again, then use the air pressure, then use gravity again, and then there's such perpetual motion, and then boom, you fly swatter it when you hit it. Yeah, no, that's not wor- that's not how it really works. I mean, you can't even use a fly swatter in, in the air, really. I don't even know why we got this. Because it was a pun weapon. Yeah. Actually, wouldn't it work in the air? No, I, I know. Yes. Maybe. If you got strong enough arms. What? Your wanking arm is probably strong enough, Dan. After seeing that harpy. Uh, I would say no. My arm's still weak. I still okay, have... So you you want to die to a pterodactyl, fine. We'll die to the pterodactyl, get respawned, and then we fight a raven. Oh, a bird. Why, were you expecting something different? Yes, I was, actually. Um, I think we win this one. I honestly do. What, you think you can fight a raven? They have the best memory of... All of the birds, I think. Wait, so you they think... remember people's faces? You think we can we can't fight a raven, but we can fight a pterodactyl? Yeah, I... ravens have laser eyes. <laughs> Do they? Oh, that's oh, of course they do. That makes perfect sense. Laser eyes. Oh, that that's where the Superman idea came from. Oh, I meant Raven from the Teen Titans. <laughs> she still doesn't have laser eyes. I know. I honestly don't remember what power she has. She can transport through dark um... magic stuff. Cool. I imagine she could do laser eyes if she wanted to. She cannot do laser eyes. I can guarantee you she could pretend to have laser eyes. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm actually going to type in Raven laser eyes. Nope, I'm doing it. <laughs> Teen Titans powers. She has glowy eyes. That's something. Hang on. I'm going to do laser eyes. Yeah, she's got glowy eyes. She can do glowy rate laser eyes properly. No, those are glowy. No, no, no. Glowy and laser eyes are two different things. What is a laser if not light, Dan? No, a laser is a special, t- a special type of light. Yeah, it's still light, though. And what is no, light it's if not? not... <laughs> it's not just light. That's not... Ex- that's what happens not... if you have lights in the dark, Dan? They shoot a light. No, a laser... I'm not going to the technical details, but general light is not a laser. <laughs> Dan, are we beating this raven? Yes, it's a raven. Okay. Flying fish. I'm, I'm sure it'd be just dead, wouldn't it? Like, it's going to die. No, it can it can stay in the out of water for a bit. <laughs> Honestly, we're just going to fall, fall, fall down to the earth. 
and we'll be staring at each other, and then this like fish will just be flying down between us, and we go, "Hey, we gotta fight this." Cool. And we just you know lay back and relax and wait for it to die. Yeah, is that your plan? Yes, that is my plan. Okay, simple. An owl. An owl. The one from Harry Potter that carries messages, so we can give us our mail whilst we're in the sky. <laughs> owl can be tough, you know. Yeah, bigger bar now. Fuck you up, right, blood? It will check a mouse at you. I think didn't. I have not watched Harry Potter properly. I've only ever seen the first three and the last one and part of four. Did the bird attack people in that? I think a bird attacked someone sure... at some point. No, but I mean the owl. I'm sure Harry Potter's owls attack someone, right? I think that happened at some point. I don't really remember. It's Isn't that how he time. dies? Isn't that how the owl dies? Is because it attacks like Voldemort or something? I wouldn't know. I've not seen that one. I don't know. I've only seen the. I don't remember any of them. I only just... one I've not seen is Deathly Hallows Part One. I've only ever seen the first three and the last one in parts of four. Half Blood Pen- Half Blood Pencil is a weird one. Which one's that? <laughs> you won't have seen that one. Okay. It was just a bit of a weird film. I. It just didn't really fit. <laughs> well, that's nice, Dan. How are we gonna kill an owl? Ah, yes, With of a course. fly swatter. The novelty one. Let's give it the novelty one. The big fat fucking one that we have five charges of. Yeah, sure. Wonderful. Look. Down a vulture. Wait, so did that work? I guess. We're fighting the, the vulture. Fa- oh no! Oh no! 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 Dan, it's only DC who are superheroes and villains. Don't. Oh, there's no Marvel. Don't deal with Marvel. No. Oh, there's no bad. No there's, no, there's no bad characters then. You're so proud of that, and it's deeply saddening. That you think that's funny? No, it's funny that I've angered those people on the internet. I'm saying that. Yeah, because people care. <laughs> people do care. Yeah, people genuinely do care. <laughs> nah, DC's good. And yeah. Marvel sucks. Yeah, let's go with that. It's not doing great at the moment, but some of it's been good. It's kind of gone down a bit, but hey, look, it may pick up again. But Dan, we're fighting a vulture in the sky. I think we're dead. Oh, yeah, we're definitely dead. We're not, we're not surviving that one. I don't think how many times I hit it with a fucking electric fly swatter it is taking us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan, let's kill a swan. Let's kill Bella Swan from the Twilight series. <laughs> <laughs> or Elizabeth Swan from Fast Caribbean. Y- yes. I reckon we just snap its neck. Big I old think neck. neck strangles. Really easy. Huh? I've not seen a swan. Those things, honestly... Nah, you're not being a swan. I have seen a swan. Like, they are going... Oh, no, wait. I, I know why we can't kill the swan. Because the queen owns all the swans, and if we kill one, we go to jail. Exactly. We cannot kill it. Also, those beaks are massive. They are very vicious. And I have been chased down by swans before. Good, you deserve it. Dan, let's fight a flamingo. Why? We... Okay, that's an interesting one. Why do you not want to fight a flamingo? <laughs> we just didn't expect that to happen. Why? They can fly? How many more birds are on this list? Well, it's 20 and we're at 12. And they're all birds. So eight. They're all sky creatures. <laughs> but how many birds are left on this list? They're all sky creatures. <laughs> <laughs> flamingo, you say? I flamingo say yes. Can flamingos actually fly? Yes! I don't know. They, might, they, might they don't just penguin. stand on one leg all day. <laughs> Well, it doesn't mean they can fly. Have you never seen a fucking flamingo flying across the water? I How do you think, think they I get ever that? have. I've only ever seen them standing on one leg. You have a sad life if you've never seen a flamingo fly across a river. Oh, sorry. Yes, There's that's such a common truly... thing that happens. Yes, it is. It happens every day where I live. In the savannah, watching The Lion King over and over again. Huh. Or nature document. They look quite graceful when they fly. They're fucking birds, dude. So's a penguin and a chicken. Yeah, yeah, that's not on this list. No, we're not fighting a penguin later. <laughs> <laughs> Is a penguin a sky creature? <laughs> it depends on if you throw it off a building. <laughs> we'll move on to that one later. Let's give flamingo first. I think we can beat a flamingo. Okay. Would you agree? Yeah, I'd say we could probably beat a uh, uh a flamingo. Dan, an ostrich. An ostrich, you say? Yeah, someone threw it out of play. <laughs> Can ostrich fly? No. <laughs> <laughs> but they are a bird. <laughs> and you wanted birds, Dan. Oh, dear. 
<laughs> I reckon we just let nature take care of this one. Yeah, once again, no just fall to us death. I mean, so are we, but we're invincible, clearly. Well, we need to build up a big pile, and that's a big bird, so it's going to hit terminal velocity first. Unless the ostrich fires an egg at us. Then we just have a nice egg and breakfast. Yeah, but those eggs are the size of a head. Yeah, we get a really big breakfast. We use the bug zapper to fry it. Ah, oh, lovely. You've got some food on the way down. Yeah. And then we got a nice cushion because ostrich feathers are really nice and soft, apparently. I reckon we could kill this thing. We just let nature take its course and just let it flop down, smash into the ground and make a nice cushion for us. I mean, I'm just wondering here, right? But is a flightless bird technically just a really bad bird because it can't fly? Like, what's the point of having wings? It is it, um, to look cool. I mean, granted, it looked really weird without them. I reckon it could glide. I just don't think anyone's given it a chance. <laughs> well, I think chucking it out of a window. There aren't any suicidal fucking ostriches or penguins where if you throw them off a cliff or something, they don't get a chance to, to glide. I reckon if we threw an ostrich out, it's got big wingspan, so it could probably fly if it tried. Might not be able to... Because it's got heavy bones, that's why. Because it's got fucking kicking power. It could kick us to death whilst we're trying. Anyway, do we win? If it kicks us, no. If we just let nature let and gravity do its work, then yeah, we, so win. we win. Dana Griffin. We're fighting oh. Peter Griffin. Um, how do I put this? Lion with wings. <laughs> yeah, how do I put this? Um, we're screwed? No. What? Why? When? How? You were screwed, right? Is it, It's a lion's head. No, it's a vulture's head. Or an eagle's head. A lion's body and eagle wings, I think. The body and tail, back legs of a lion, the head and wings of an eagle. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah. <laughs> we are not surviving that one. What number was that? Uh, That was number 14. Ah, oh, okay. Damn, we're fighting a stork. It's got a baby in its mouth. Because that's how babies are delivered. So we're we're so, denying a parent a baby. Do we kill the baby? We are the American government. Because <laughs> we are denying a family a baby. <laughs> Is that the whole reason oh, no, wait. that bird's in We're the opposite of the American government. Because we're, we're stopping a baby from coming into the world. Oh, okay. Is, is that the whole reason you put a stalk in there? Just to make that joke? No, I only thought about it after the fact that I put a... I was going to do a baby joke, but I always I, I thought about it for two seconds and went, oh, yeah, I can make an American politics joke. Everyone's favorite conversation topic. It's relevant. Yeah, because Several. everyone loves the American government right now. Yes. Dan, how are we killing a stork? And do we get a free baby out of this? I don't know. <laughs> I reckon we could kill a stork and get a free baby, and then we can sacrifice it to the next one. Sacrifice the baby to the next stork. No, the next one we're fine. <laughs> Depending on what it is. I reckon we just hit it with the electric fly swatter and boom. It goes down. We get a free baby and some parent loses out, which is very sad. But hey, look, we got a next sacrifice. Boom. Yeah, I think we can be a stork. Mind you, it's got a very long beak. Well, yeah. It might pick your eyes out. Well, no, it's got a baby, so it can't... The baby's stuck on it. So it's got blunted. So what do we do? We grab the baby and start punching it in the face. Yeah. Well, I'll take the baby. You can fight it. And then I'll just fuck off. <laughs> and then when the eagle comes, we can give the eagle a snack and we can just go past our day. <laughs> All right, cool. We now have another weapon, a baby. Yeah. Use it as like a nunchuck. <laughs> Snap its neck and... Use its spinal cord. Fascinating. <laughs> Do you reckon we can fight an eagle? Like a mini vulture? Is that the next one? Yeah. Is it a bald eagle? It's an eagle, so probably the most definitive bald eagle is probably the biggest eagle that everyone knows, so yes. We're not fighting a bald eagle. Why not? <laughs> Those things are deadly. Nah. I haven't seen Peacemaker yet, so I don't know how eagle he is. He's vicious. Well, okay. He also is hugs. He... This is a this is such a DC heavy episode. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Vulture could have been for... from Marvel. Vulture, but we're not talking about Marvel. <laughs> Marvel is banned from this episode. It's banned from life. We're doing Warner Brothers properties. We're doing Harry Potter and DC. No Marvel. 
Oh, and the penguin. Fuck. Yeah. God yeah. damn it. God damn it. Why are all DC villains? Well, the penguin's like... not there yet, is it? So. No. Well, that's the next one. Eagle. No, we don't be. We don't be a. Bee. We don't be an eagle. Okay. Can we be a penguin? Is this an ostrich situation? Is this number seventeen? Yes. Then no. <laughs> nah, yeah, we can be a penguin. You don't think we can be... Well, what does Benedict Cumberbatch say? P- penguin. Oh, yeah, it's like a uh, penguin. Or Peng- penguin. 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 P- 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 penguin. Penguin. It's Pingu. Oh, my God, we can beat a clay animation fucking penguin. Damn, what have you lost? A circuit board. Uh, has a temperature sensor on it. And you are thinking that is more important than recording our incredibly depth... It is when it belongs to my workplace. That is your fault, and you should do it after this podcast. I found it, I found it. Because it's not going anywhere. I got it, I got it, I got it. Wonderful. I reckon we can beat a penguin. I mean, yeah. Why don't we just I let mean, nature gonna do die, it? It's going to die, right? Just leave it. Yeah. Dan of Phoenix. No. This is so I think Harry Potter. The nature... This is Harry Potter and fucking DC. It's Warner Brothers, right? <laughs> yeah. And Storks as well. Know. Isn't Storks also? No. Oh, the Storks film? Was that with that Disney? What? I don't know. Maybe it is. Hang on, I'll Google Storks, the animated kids movie. Storks, the 2016 film, was Warner Animation. How did you know that? I don't know how I knew that. <laughs> it's just a Warner Brothers episode. <laughs> Andy Samberg's in that movie? Jennifer Aniston? What the fuck? I've seen that film, this- by the way. I have not seen that film. It looks terrible. Yeah, it wasn't great. What? It is the, it. It is the, it's got 65% on Rotten Tomato, Tomatoes. It's doing better than Eternals did. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix, Dan. How are we beating a Phoenix? I think if by we the kill letter. it, it just rises from the ashes and comes back. Yeah, we can't kill it. it, it it's just unkillable. Okay, that's a no point. But yeah, no a point flying point. squirrel. I feel like this is when you started scraping the barrel, the, scraping the barrel. No, this was one of the first things I did. Oh, really? You're like, oh, this is stupid. Let's do it. Yeah. I started with all the stupid ones, then went and found actual creatures of the sky. <laughs> A flying squirrel, eh? Squirrels have fucking got rabies, mate. Yeah, they're fast as well. They're rapid. Yeah. Like, it would jump on you and just claw your eyes out. It's yeah. also going to die. Yeah. Like, if you just left it in the air, it's dead. Yeah. So we win? Well, actually, no, because it could probably glide pro- pro- pretty well to the ground. Because their entire thing is just gliding. Maybe, but if, we can It's probably... the same principle as the fish. But the fish just will die because of lack of water. <laughs> Unless... Right. It will gracefully land on the ground. Unless that fish can land in water. If we speed not... up, go into the ground by crawling up into a ball, and then fly out again, we've gone away from that squirrel. Mm-hmm. All we need to do is just outfall it. Okay. Which we can do. Well, um, we could use the big fly swatter as a parachute. Or we can just use the big fly swatter on... Which would be interesting, because, yeah, we got some uses of that left. I don't remember how many. I think we only used it twice, so we got, like, three left, because I said five. So. All right. So, yeah, I think we I think we win that one. And then, Dan, the last one we're fighting is a dragon. <laughs> Very Warner Brothers... <laughs> Very Warner Brothers indeed. <laughs> Somehow. I bet I can type Warner Brothers and Ostrich and I'll get a match of some kind. Why are you typing Warner Brothers and Ostrich? Because we fought on Ostrich. Okay. Does Warner Brothers own any dinosaur movies? We own Game of Thrones. Dinosaurs. Oh, dinosaur. Dinosaur movies. They own Journey to the Center of the Earth, which has pterodactyls in it. And the Flintstones. That's Scooby Doo and the Loch Ness Monster, apparently. And Justice League New Frontier. And is Warner Brothers d- does own an ostrich. The what? <laughs> they own a character called the Ostrich. Okay, now we just need to find out if they own a movie about ducks. D- oh, they own the duck. They juice. own Daffy Duck. They own Daffy Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! This is just the Warner Brothers, which is very relevant. <laughs> Maybe I should title this Warner Brothers Sky Creatures Edition. <laughs> Can we fight the Sky Creatures Warner Brothers edition? <laughs> People will be so confused. Fuck it. Let's do it. I don't Until know. They this point, the episode. episode. And they'll be like, oh. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, yeah. Warner it actually makes sense. <laughs> Fucking hell. I was, this was not planned. Hang on. Warner Brothers Pelican. <laughs> it, it probably. Let's be honest. Pelican. 
Um, the Pelican Brief. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes together. How this nice. Okay. I doubt they have anything to do with flying fish, but hey, maybe they do. Um, yeah, a dragon. Big fly swatter. Boom, we win. I don't know how, if you know how dragons work. But they are easily defeated by fly swatters that are big. Yeah, we're getting torched and we're incinerated. But I am the mother of all dragons. No! I don't know if there could be a male version. I don't know how Game of Thrones works, having never watched it. You'd have to be a Targaryen, and then you can control dragons. Okay, so it doesn't matter gender. No, I think it's just, you have to be a Targaryen. Oh, okay. Cool. Which means you have to have white hair, because they're all inbreds. And engage in incest. And engage in incest, yeah. Okay, I'm out then. I don't yeah. have white hair. How, me, however. <laughs> <laughs> you missed the joke, but okay, cool. So you don't have white hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well done. You caught on. <laughs> That's the reason I don't become a Targaryen. Just the white hair. It's, it's the white hair. I have all the other boxes ticked. <laughs> okay, so how many did we kill, Dan? Do we have enough to soften up the impact? Well, we have 1 and 13 and lost 7. Okay. What did we beat? I don't know. I didn't keep track of that. Okay. Well, in the comments, let us know. I think it's pretty obvious what we beat and what we didn't beat. We beat all the small shit, so we got a very small pile. If we could have killed that dragon, man. Or that ostrich. Oh, the ostrich is dead. So I think, overall, we still lose because we hit the the ground and die. But Warner Brothers wins because we spoke about them. (laughs) They do win, yeah. We said, fuck you, Marvel and Disney. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> right well that has been can we beat can we fight sky creatures can we beat sky creatures warner um, brothers edition warner bros edition um yeah we'll see you for maybe another can we fight something series see you later goodbye